Another uh, common question I have is, you know, how do I export my chart of accounts and import it into another QuickBooks file? Or how to take a chart of accounts I have in Excel and import it into QuickBooks because I already did, pretty much did all the work in Excel. So that's a little bit tricky. Let's talk about basically both things. So first of all, in my chart of accounts, I have the option to export this by clicking on File, Utilities, Export, List to IAF, and then I'll hit the little checkbox under Chart of Accounts, click that, and then hit OK. And then I'll give it a name, so I'm going to call it Hector's COA. And then I'll click on Save. So if I open an entirely different QuickBooks file that doesn't have a chart of accounts or has an entirely different chart of accounts and I wanted to import the chart of accounts that I have here, I simply go into File, Utilities, Import, IF file, and then select the chart of accounts. There you go, Chart Hector, or Hector, I think it was Chart Hector, and then I click Open and then it'll bring that chart of accounts uh, back into that other uh, QuickBooks file. Now, the other interesting thing you can do with that export is you can edit it in Excel. Um, whether you're gonna bring it back into the original QuickBooks file or a different QuickBooks file, you can make some interesting edits. So for example, I'm gonna open up a blank, a, a blank workbook in Excel, something without any data on it, just a, a blank workbook in Excel, and it has to be Excel. And then I'm gonna grab that chart of accounts, uh, where is it? Uh, there it is, Chart Hector. And I'm going to click and drag it to uh, that blank workbook. What that's going to do is that's going to open a new spreadsheet with that chart of accounts that I just exported. And if I wanted to just add accounts, okay, so let's say, for example, I have a, another database with accounts in Excel. I basically go all the way to the bottom here. And all I have to do is grab the last one that's there, uh, copy, and then paste a couple of lines. And then what that will do is it'll give me all that extra information that's there. Let me scroll back up. Uh, all the extra information that's there uh, needed to uh, do the export. So let me just scroll back down. So you see all these here, I added, I duplicated them in order so I can replace them with something else. So for example, I come in here and paste it from another spreadsheet or give it whatever name. So I'm gonna put here house, car, kids, food, for example. And then I'm gonna, right now, these are all other expenses. Now I can choose the type that they're gonna be. So if it's gonna be cost of goods sold, I have to pick the category and I can just use this right here, COGS is called. So I can make this cost of goods sold if I want it by just changing the category. And this is kind of techy. Yes, I know, because this is a spreadsheet. Um, and you have to make sure that the header information stays intact. And a lot of this information um, is extra and is uh, and, and may be needed. The only thing you need is the name of the account, the category, and the account number. So let's call this one 5111, 5222, 5333, and 5444. Perfect. And then I'm going to click on Save and go ahead and close that and then go back into QuickBooks just to show you and let's take a look at the cost of goods sold account we have now. So right now in our options, we don't have that house car thing that I just made up. So to import it, I'm going to go to File, Utilities, Import, Import an IAF file, and then select Chart Hector, the one I just changed, and hit Open. And then when it's done importing, you're going to see all those accounts I added in uh, that spreadsheet. There we go. Car, kids, food, and I don't know where the other one is. There you go, house. So um, that lets you know what you can do with uh, that IAF export and importing it back in.